Hi, welcome to another Relax in Pain. I'm excited to be here with you this morning. And I want to paint just a pretty flower, um, a few pretty flowers on some gray paper. This is an art paper, which is called a grayscale paper out of this grayscale pad. All right. And so they have everything from black to gray tones and lighter gray tones. All right. It's just kind of fun. And it's quick and easy, and I don't have to base coat anything to get going and sharing with you today. So um, I'm wearing another one of my shirts from our store right here on, on my YouTube channel. So go check them out. And I have these beautiful blankets too. And if you need any brushes, paints, or supplies to paint with me, make sure you go to my website, which is www dot one stroke dot com. And before I get started, in case I forget, please, please come join my um, first of all, subscribe to this so that and hit a notification button so that it lets you know when I'm going to be live. And also go to my Facebook site because every Tuesday and Friday, usually we have a special offering for a discounted price. So Come check it out. It's all about painting. It's all about having something for us to make us feel good inside, just create and have a good time doing so. So thank you for being here with me. I uh, like you to relax and paint when I'm on. And so I talk quieter because sometimes people say, ma'am, I can't hear you. And then other people, oops, this is new. It's got something on it. I didn't take off my case <laughs> and I thought something was wrong with it. All right. So I am going to pull out some fun colors today. So if we get some citrus green <clears throat> and I'm going to use a little bit of thicket. So I'm going to come around and put them on my foam plate. You can put them on a plate that you can wash off a glass plate. I know some countries, they do that a lot so they don't waste materials. I'm gonna put a little bit of magenta and um, always some white. Okay, so see, there we are. And I have a big bottle of white. Now I'm using, see this? I'm using multi-surface paint and I just got paint all over this. So I'm gonna to try to wipe it off to show you. So it's multi-surface. And it has it's exactly what it says, metal, glass, ceramic, wood, indoor, outdoor. It's got a sealer in it. I'm going to use a little bit of floating medium. That's the clear gel. I kind of put that in the middle. I'm going to turn it down and let you look at it, okay? So there we are. So I'm going to come here. And... Uh, why about some purple? We're going to use some purple probably. That will be nice. And so what I'm doing is I'm using, let's get some Violet Pansy instead of Dioxazine Purple. All right. That's enough colors. Um, instead of using um, larger brushes, which I do a lot, we're going to be using, this is a 10, I think. A 10, I do have a 12. I have an angle brush. Here, let me get a little bit smaller. Let me get an eight also and a liner, okay? So here's some colors that we've got. All right. Now, one thing I do always with my double loader when I'm working is I tap it so it lays the paint out more. So what I encourage you to do is to get a double loader, especially if you don't feel comfortable that your strokes are super, I mean, you are, are just like you want them. So I am going, you can take and draw some of your designs if you want. I can draw a little seed pot coming down. All right, and that's not very good for you to see. And I just got paint all over my hand. <laughs> All right, and so I'm going to have little sprigs that come out from there. I don't think you can see that at all. 
but let's see if this other pencil works better for you. And I'll come a little bit closer. All right, so let's see. A little bit better. All right, that shows you a little bit, but I can I can take and do a few a few little marks here just to give you a little idea of what I'm looking for. All right. I'm going to do a few of these sprigs out here. And then I have a few little guys that hang from there. All right, so one thing is I can do a little flower back here and then some in front. All right, so I'm gonna get some water, kind of clean that white off that I just got all over me and give you a chance to get your paint ready and maybe sketch out what you might want, okay? So one of the things that really helps you is using an angle brush. So I'm going to wet it, dry it off, and pick up sap and citrus. And maybe even a little white. We're, we're probably gonna get some more colors like yellow but I want you to see that I push really hard to get it on this whole brush, all right? So I'm gonna do a couple of things where I'm gonna come right here and curve that around. Okay. And I can come in here and put a little bit of a little vine there. So hopefully this will be something that you can paint even smaller that you can put on a greeting card. I always love to find little fun designs to put on a greeting card. So I was thinking if I do a few little clusters of flowers. That this, you can even just use a part of what I'm doing today, just a part of it and make a cute little card. Or I just like to do five by seven sometimes and frame them in inexpensive frames and have fun with that. All right, now one of the things, we're going to do some flowers, and so this is going to be like a little green pod, but maybe, maybe we can come up here a little bit higher, and also do a little bit of little blossoms on those. I can also come down in a few of these places and make another type of greenery here. But for right now, I just want to put some green, a little bit of green. The paper's really dry. So you will want to get some medium and work that in. Anytime you think that you would like to go get water, you need to do that. <laughs> Okay, so let's go right here. And on the, on the, this is the toe and this is the heel. I can take the toe and pick up a little bit of white. So it was citrus and sap, a little bit of white. All right, so I can take the heel of this and I can stand up and then come back down around. All right, just a little bit of a fun leaf. And you can see where I drew it earlier. All 
and you can do two sides of it. And it gives you a really nice, kind of like a little wallflower or sometimes some weeds have beautiful little blossoms and stuff. All right, so do you see that? All right, now I'm gonna put down that angle brush and I'm gonna show you, I am pretty partial to a flat brush because I like, I've learned in the past, just I hold this brush and I can go everywhere from the leaves to the uh, flowers to whatever I wanna paint. All right, so here, I'm gonna take and do little, oops, that's a big, some little leaves. I'm leading with the dark. All right, now remember I told you, let's get some medium because it's very dry. All right, so I'm gonna come here. All right. There's another little fern. So just have fun, guys. Pick out some little leaves that you like. We're going to put a little flower on here and on here. All right. But let's pick up a little bit more white. And let's do these leaves. Okay, so all I did was pick up a little white each time. Wiggle out, push down, and wiggle back. Now, sometimes I don't wiggle. Watch this. I push down, push down, and stand up. And come on this side, push down, push down, push down. And so you do that instead of wiggling. And I'm going to come right in here. Aren't that kind of nice? Okay, so these kind of have curls. And I can take and push, push, and do these little teeny curls like it's unfolding, like it's a piece of greenery, like a fern that rolls out. All right, just a little bit of greenery. Any bit of this greenery is kind of fun. Can you see how I'm making little teeny curls? Little kind of fun. All right, so I do have some flowers down here, but I'm going to start with some flowers up here. So I'm going to pick up some purple and a little bit of white. And I still have, um, this is my 10. So you could use an eight, but let's start. And I keep going over here and getting all the way around. Then I can put one in front. Okay. Now I'm going to do some little buds. So I can turn the brush around and just get some little purple buds. And I can do that over here too, little purple buds. So I'm leading with the white and I'm letting the purple 
come first. And I led with the white, so that gives you a little bu little buds. Okay, so we're gonna come here. All right, can you see those little teeny flowers? See, all these were heading up. And these I'm doing over here, I kind of have a facing me. And I have some more that are just kind of out like this. So a little bit of purple, white, and we'll do some centers on those a little bit later. So I'm going to wash this brush and I'm going to do a little, I'm going to mostly do white on my brush. All right, right there, white. And then silo a little bit of pink. Are you liking this? I think it's kind of fun. We're going to, here's the flower I drew where the white's on the outside and the back, okay? It's all out here. Okay, that's the back layer. Okay, and then what's going to happen next is... I'm going to do a layer that comes in front. So these would be like coming towards me. All right. So I have these back here. And you just have a small brush. Okay. So then I'm going to pick up. See, I pick up white and I go over here and I just barely silo the magenta, okay? So right here, I can show you that I'm gonna slide up. We have some little points back here. So what I do is I slide up and then I slide this one down. So it looks like a bud that's not opened yet, right? And we'll do a little one like that over here. So there's the back. And then we have one coming here and kind of one going there. Okay, so I then can come right up in here and have another bud. So I'm gonna pick up some yellow. So at any time, look, you can quit at any time. And I'm going to wash this. And I'm going to come in with yellow. And this is moon yellow. I don't think I told you the colors. I am so sorry. This says violet pansy, wicker white, citrus green, and sap green, magenta, and moon yellow. Violet Pansy, I think I told you that. Okay, so I'm going to come right in here and bring white and yellow and just do little petals. I'm also coming here and bring the yellow around. Okay, so the white being on the outside edge is very important. Okay. So what people are saying is some of these simple ones I do like this, where you feel like is obtainable is making you guys happy because you're just doing a couple little strokes. But if you go to my practice strokes on Fridays, you can practice so you feel comfortable with doing my flowers with me.
All right. So I'm going to come over here and just do a little teeny flower. This is going to be another petal in front. Okay. And I'll put a couple of leaves out here. So now I took the yellow and white brush. And so I got yellow, citrus, and a little bit of white. So I'm going to put just a little bit of green out here. All right, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit and do a little stem, a stem, and let's put a little bit. I needed a little bit of sap in here with some of those light colors. Okay, so we put a little bit up here. Just trying to figure out something you guys will like. And we can bring a little bit more of that purple and white here. Violet pansy and worker white. I got too much water in that brush. I can lay it down and see the water run out. When I clean it, I have to make sure that I am careful with it. All right. So we're going to take these little blossoms up here again. A few, like a little cluster of them. A little bit more white. So you will find this paper is a little dry. So you just want to make sure you work on. Push, push, having it really nice and moist. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is take my script liner, my two script liner, make, that's the only thing I use water on is I make it inky. You can't make it inky with a floating medium, okay? All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come right along these guys. Little teeny calyx that grab these little blossoms and pull them back. I'll put a little bit of citrus on it after I after I stroke with it a few minutes. All right. So I have a little bit of sap, sap, a little bit of citrus. I'm taking a long time today. I just wanted you to kind of get lost in these little flowers. And just pick one little flower stem or one little a couple of flowers and leaves and put that on a collection of cards. I think you will like them. I should have taken some time to paint some cards before I came on. But it's early in the morning. If you see the paintings behind me, we're doing oversized painting. I have another class today where they have taken it on Zoom with me and they're learning how to make this happen. Okay. So one of the things that would look good on here is if I make it really inky, like, oops, I didn't grab these little guys. So if I can grab this and I'm going to take and make circles, like little vines. All right, those little purple flowers would probably have some cute little vines. Like this is a nice little vine. All right. All right, 
right? So that kind of those curls are fun. I take my little finger and I make circles. I teach you how to these, do these on practice strokes too. So just go check out anything you want to learn. And then I sign with that. So what I want to do is I want to um, come here and do some little centers, okay? So I'm going to make it brighter yellow centers with a script, two script liner helps you lay out those colors. All right. And then I have some little dots of yellow in here. This is the moon yellow. Okay. And then I can put some of that, just a little bit of that with some citrus inside of these. A little bit, this shows the inside of them pretty good. See, dot, dot, dot with the tip. I usually use the handle of the brush, but we are, we are doing it really small so I can, okay, I can even put a little white in that yellow. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow showing there. All right, so now I'm going to come in here with a teeny bit of green in the middle. Let's get some sap. Okay. Now, I hope you like that. I think it was kind of fun. I would love to see what you turn yours into. Show me, I'd love for you to share with me on my one of my Facebook site, what you turn yours into. All right, thanks for telling me what you want to see next and share with me. Isn't that fun? Just for you. Good morning. Have a great day and try painting with me. It's fun. <laughs> okay.